Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Masquerada Songs and Shadows. And we found out a little bit about Amadea's story as to why she left the Mask Runners, guys. And now we're here in the ruins. Let's go ahead and get to it and see what else we can discover. Oh, that's rather elaborate. Who's that? In the middle? I'm not sure. There's a mark on his head, but I can't quite make out what it is. They seem to be fawning over him. They certainly look like they're cleaning him, yes. A king of sorts, perhaps? There seem to be guards at the edge of the mural. Too early to say. We should keep moving. They're reading quite a lot from that. Anything else pop up? Nope. Just this dais, I suppose. This is where the king was cleaned, it seems. It certainly corresponds with the mural. Hmm. Okay. Getting more questions than answers here. Up there. What does it say? It's not Dementica, it's just a symbol. The other doors have it as well. Hold on. I recognize one of them. The one on the right. There was a collection of stones in the room that looked like it. Oh. Okay. We're gonna get our Indiana Jones on. Figure out some puzzles. Ah. This is it. You think it might be a key of some sort? Only one way to find out. Let's make them regret this! Whoa! Okay, the welcoming committee's here. And... They were running around all over the place. Didn't really get a chance. Oh dear. We are leaving some folks alone, it seems. Amadea, you chill over here. At least we're not losing a whole lot of health, which is good. How are you holding up there, Cicero? At least we know it's important now. Very true. He's very important. So, let's see what's behind door number three. There we go. A new car! No, that would be awesome, though. Another mural. What's this one about? This one's a little clearer. They've written the symbol of mind above the mural. Well, it doesn't look very pleasant, does it? It's the same man from earlier. The one with the mark on his forehead. Can you make it out here? No, but I'm getting the feeling that he wasn't a king. You also need to take into account the uh, robed figure with the knife, which is rarely, if ever, a good sign. Ugh. This looks like where Aslan was killed. Spoilers. This is where they laid him out. I don't understand what they used it for, though. These tools look... Painful. Unfit for a king, surely. And the mist has started to grow just a little bit, so we'll probably get into a scrap as soon as we... Here. Again. It's as though there was a procedure that was supposed to be followed. A ritual that brought them through these rooms in this order. Well, we still have another two rooms to go, so let's make it quick. Brace yourself! Yes, indeed. Stun all the things. And focus on taking that guy out. And all the tags. Yeah. That's definitely gonna work. I mean, if you wanna chase Cicero around, you're more than welcome to. Stellar.
And what's behind door number two? Or actually, that'd be door number one. A trip to Tahiti! <laughs> Animaniacs reference. Ooh. That's more like it. This... This must have been their god. What word is that, above it? Soul. Hmm. So they worship the Ringwraith. That's a good, good sign. Now the word on his head is a lot clearer now. Amadea? It... It means... criminal. This was his punishment? I don't know. Well, we should look around. There's still one last door. So this may have been a place for, uh... Um, capital crimes, maybe? What we got here? Faith in him must we place, for he sees all, knows all. His word is law. Our lives are his. Time is his plaything. The lands are his clay. His breath could level mountains. His heartbeat could give life to lands. His gaze could rain destruction. Sounds like a lovely fellow. His whisper could open the skies. And here's the last one. Are you ready? Oh. <laughs> Saw you over there. What are they doing? Not attacking. Why? The statue. They're staying away from it. As though they revere it too. Come on. Let's not take it for granted. Yeah, we'll just head over here. I'm not looking that... I'm not trying to XP farm that badly. And behind door number two! What do you think this whole ritual was about? I'd say some sort of cleansing. In the first hall, there was a physical cleansing. In the second... It said mental, but I don't think cutting people up was very clean for the mind. The third hall was a cleansing of the soul. It was a religious room, after all. And now the last one? Probably to see why our poor criminal needed to be so clean. Let's go. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Pin drop. Ceremonial. Missed again. Changer. Be on your guard. Or chamber. Changer. The great Deku tree? Oh no. Nope, never mind. Ancient Ferravaro. Oh, it stomps. How lovely. Well, we'll just focus on the limbs. That's always a good sign. A good thing to do. And Amadea needs to stay out of the way. Okay, it looks like we're just dealing with pieces. Um, Amadea, please stay held. Thank you. And Calden's actually doing some good healing with his little ability. Keeps him healed through the nonsense. Oh, are we moving on to new targets? I guess we are. Oh, he's starting to hit quite a bit, though. Come on, let's burn him down. This is not our war. Okay. Well, it's like a, like a giant ent. Raw masquerine. Who's that go to? Ah, Tiziana. Cool. We still need to bring her into the party. I'm not particularly fond of her, but she deserves her uh, time on the team for a little bit. A 
It's all Dementica. It's a recitation. You who sinned, you have been cleansed. You will serve, a vessel to atone for your transgressions. You will heal the flesh you harmed, and shield the face you scorned. For all eternity you will be. Your soul will be bared for all to see, and your strength given to those you weakened. Through the Father's heart you will be redeemed from... From what? Ophira Amesta Avis Atu. From man to mask you will be. Ah, are you saying? The Masquerines had once been Dementicate. They're criminals. There is no other interpretation. These were their gallows. Tides. And the artifacts. They facilitated this? Converted the Dementicate into Masquerines? I think they did. Ages. This changes everything. You bet it does. Our Masquerines. They'd been alive once, Cicero. They'd have stories to tell, worlds to paint for us. If only we could somehow get to them. <laughs> what? I'm just trying to understand. I think I explained it quite well. Not it. You. Why you try so hard to hide this side of you. Under all your acidic words, there is a heart that beats. I just don't know why you suffocate it. Cicero, don't. Not the time. But, Amadea. <sighs> Dementicate. Bereg Og. So they had a god. That should hardly come across as surprising. Most other civilizations do as well. It seems like Breag, as Radstoff has written, gave a part of himself to the Dementicate so they or the civilization could prosper. Well, it certainly worked. I can only wonder at what cost. So they transformed their criminals into masquerines to, I mean, waste not, want not, I suppose. Okay. Well, let's see if there's any other lore nearby. And hope the giant tree doesn't come back to bite us. I don't think so. Yeah, can't walk through it. Ooh, quiet door. There we go. It's not a good sign. Amadea? I was just thinking. The artifacts. If we find them. If we want to make more masquerines. Who's going to play the criminal? Come on. Alrighty, I like the twist. I think I've seen- I remember something similar, but I don't remember what franchise. Tides. It's been moons since I climbed so many flights. <laughs> Just be glad it's behind us. Indeed. What is that? Whoa! We have to help her. Ages, what is that thing? Questions later. To arms! So the storm begins. It has two arms. And is stun immune. Alright, adds first. We'll try and deal with that. Yeah. Oh, we took out the mech. Okay. Now it's just you. Again? What are you? Oh, last cru yes. last crusade moment. Lysandra! No! <sighs> You know what? We survived. Amadea. She might. We searched the cavern below, sir. 
She didn't make it. Never mind. Get back to the streets. The others need to know. Gently. I'm sorry. <sighs> this moment has been on the horizon ever since the war began. That doesn't make it any easier. Yes, it does. We are tired of fighting. Of losing. Of dying. Our respect for Lysandra, for the dream she held onto, was all that kept us going. Now that she is gone... What are you saying? Perhaps now is the time for us to rest. To fade into the shadows, where we should never have left. Perhaps... it is good that she is gone. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. The crest of the Melicarte. Your brother designed it. A wreath of... Of Night's Bane, to remind us to be a beacon of light in the darkest shadows. A swath of red for the blood of those who gave their lives for us. And a shattered mask for the dream that one day they will not matter. That dream has long withered in our hearts. This crest no longer has a home. Cesaro, take it, or the soil will. Good. Now, the golden canvas. What? Before the Dactites attacked, Lysandra was going to tell you about the Herald. They have a temple under the golden canvas. Lysandra and I had been there once. They tried converting us, but we resisted. A temple? For something that's appearing to be their religion. Go there, and you will learn more yourself. There is only a single red grating in the whole ward. Descend through it, and you'll figure it out. And what of the Melicate? I have said already. Now is the time for us to sleep. Goodbye, Cicero. I hope we never see each other again. And that's a lot for Cicero to take in, for sure. That was like his brother's dream. New chapter reached. A little early for a fire. It's a cold day. Did you know her well? Not really. I'd seen her maybe twice in all. And she and my brother, they were close. There was nothing you could have done. You made a breakthrough today, learning about masquerines. That's quite an accomplishment. It doesn't feel like it. Everyone's talking about the golden canvas. It's Seho's sojourn today. It'll be bustling. Festivities. Just what I needed. Cicero. I know. This is pathetic. But allow me just a moment. The Melicate were my brother's dream, and now... It seems foolish that I'm mourning something that died years ago. You mourn when your heart calls for it. There is never a foolish time. Calden? Yes? <sighs> never mind. It's an unworthy thought. I think by now we both know there is no such thing. This investigation, this thing that we're wrapped up in, it's growing bigger than I ever imagined it'd be. I don't think any of us imagined that we'd learn that masquerines had been to Menticate, that they'd been alive. I don't know what else we'll find. How much bigger this might get. We have limits, all of us. I made a promise. And you're trying to keep it. That's enough for me. Have you spoken to the twins? The carriage can't fit all of us, but they're willing to make two trips. Leventhus and his family have plans to go too. They are runic after all. Then we should leave soon. I'll tell the others. Yay for festivities. Jezero von Hurik 1. Oh, so we okay. So we have one entry, which means we'll have another. It looks like. Hmm. And 
What was Lysandra? There it is. I don't know. I'd like to think that she'd make it through, but... Doesn't look like it. Part of me would think that she'd fake her death to make people think that the Melicarde had disbanded and then not. But I don't think we'd get that lucky. Hey, Vasco. We need some mirth. Quite a thing, isn't it? I wonder what she'd once been like. She? My masquerine. You're so sure it was a woman? I like to think so. I can only imagine how the city would react to this if they found out. Do you think we might one day be able to communicate with them? I don't even know if they're sentient anymore. It's worth a try, though, isn't it? Be my guest. If you can hear me, give me a sign. Sudden acne. <laughs> she must be sleeping. <laughs> Just breakouts. Or a sudden mole or two. Well, so far so good. Let's go ahead and... Amadea. Cicero. Not now. Please. We did all we could. I know. And Amadea is broken. And Cicero <laughs> keeps choosing the worst times to want to have a conversation. Very much like a... like a guy. Thinking of how to tell the Judge Master. It's not every day that I'm required to be the bearer of news as world-changing as this. Mascarines and Dementicate? It's almost too much to believe. But you do? How can I not, with everything that's happened? I'd imagined you to be more, uh, skeptical than that. I suppose you would, wouldn't you? Tis your honor? <clears throat> If you'll excuse me, Inspettore, I have a report to send. Of course. Now I know what it reminds me of. Um, it's a criminal that's turned into a masquerine, but actually reminds me of the Aeons from Final Fantasy X. Um, when your followers would turn get turned into Aeons to serve their summoners. Very similar to that, or the Faith, or you know, however you want to interpret it. Ready for the sojourn, Damien? It's so exciting. I heard they're selling the anthologies of Mayara Terrell. Damien, we already have half of them. But the collection has Mayara's notes. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go get the stories we have. Maybe we can trade them in for a better price. Something bad. Your son is close to his culture. Sometimes too close. Forgets that we're in Omba color of skin means so little here. Homesick? Terribly so. What is it? <sighs> then... We were supposed to sail tomorrow. Sail? Across the belt, back to Rune. What? Please don't take this the wrong way, but... I watched you and Cyrus grow up maskless. You don't want him to go through that. Neither does Lavia. It's why she buries him in our culture instead of the culture of the city. She doesn't want him to grow up feeling like he's worth less simply because he doesn't have a stupid mask. It certainly kept the light in his eyes. I can only hope it'll stay. You should go. Tomorrow is still ahead of us. You can make it. <laughs> and let you take care of yourself. The last time I did that, you almost set my house on fire. Then I'm serious. Before you came back, there was little reason to stay. But now, maybe you can teach him a thing or two. Me? About life in the city. Ease him into its better half. Give him a mask, maybe. A masquerine? Then, I don't think... Ah, oh, forget I said anything. You have other things to worry about, I'm sure, and so do we. <sighs> oh, Ven. I personally would have no issue with that. I have a ton of masks that I have no intention of using. We'll give the kid a mask. We'll give your whole family a mask. But I actually have a really bad feeling that uh, something unpleasant is going to happen at least to the 
wife and child. So, uh, hopefully I'm not correct in that, but... You know how these things go. Alright. Oh, Ven's only got one more entry left. Damien's got... potentially more. There you go, lore hunters. Is this telling the story about how he almost set the house on fire? Potentially. He always had these long stories. It just kind of comes off that something bad's going to happen because, oh yeah, we were going to sail, we are going to leave, but we are going to stay for you. It's right up there with the, I'm two days away from retirement that you see in every, like, 80s movie before the veteran cop gets mowed down. Okay. Well, I mean, we found out something big about the Masquerines, which is another quake to culture, if this gets found out. I mean, it's going to be found out, but... We've got two skill points remaining. And... Well... I guess we will go ahead and end the episode here and head the, to the festivities and try and find that red grate in the next episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.